hello so um i just wanted to film another little update for everybody um kyle is leaving on sunday it's it's so close now it's so um real now it's not like months or weeks that we're waiting anymore it's just days so I've been doing a lot of research I've been looking at a lot of um, other um, military spouses social media and checking out their different advices if anybody has any personal advice they want to give me um, I would gladly receive it <laughs> I've been trying to learn all of the different acronyms for things and um, like planning for the future um, just as far as we can see it right now so uh, today um, Kyle and I have a special little date together I'm really excited about it we haven't had a date in over a year so it's really special um yeah it's there's there's not a whole lot aside from that I'm just trying to get us prepared and um, trying to get an idea of what it's gonna be like for us so I did decide that when the schools around here open up I'm gonna send the kids um, the boys the older two boys first grade and um, kindergarten because um, it's just gonna give me a lot more um, peace of mind knowing that they're getting the proper education because I have a lot of doubts of my own abilities to teach them but also um, it's gonna give them a lot of routine it's gonna give me a, a cleaner house which means um, I am gonna be able to be more free with my time with them so yeah so it was a big decision but there was just one night that i couldn't sleep until like two in the morning so i had a lot of time to think about things and um yeah so uh, it's it's so real um i'm getting hit with a lot more emotion than i thought i would i'm used to like um, absences when he would be gone for work so I'm used to that but this is definitely a longer period of time I've also found out a little more about um, his AIT the advanced individual training I um, he's gonna be going uh, it's in Georgia so that particular base I guess they do make room for you if you have a family to go with you to the AIT but it's not always a sure thing you have to apply for it and um, you have to be in their orders to be able to go so at this point I'm not counting on anything uh, if there's one common theme that I've heard from a lot of military spouses it's that just don't make plans for anything because things are constantly changing um, so <laughs> thankfully I'm pretty good at going with the flow my children are um, very adaptable like they they go with the flow too so <laughs> if um, yeah if anybody has any advice or any just words of encouragement or um, you know any resources for me I'd greatly appreciate it because <sighs> uh, I feel like I am like getting ready to um, jump into like deep water and I have no idea what's in there and I <laughs> might not know how to swim so <laughs> it's crazy it's really crazy the emotions are so um strong they're just like I, i'm already missing him and he's not even gone yet and it's i have a lot of people just being like oh it's gonna be so great you're you know your family's just gonna love it and um what a great adventure you guys are about to partake in and 
a lot of people I don't I don't think anybody's trying to be dismissive but it does feel kind of dismissive of how I'm feeling I'm very much a like all right let's just like hop over the emotions and let's just like put our nose to the ground and get to work and um but for whatever reason right now I'm just really in my feels man it is it's hard and um it's hard with all of the uncertainty so yeah I'm I'm just I'm giving my space right now to feel what I feel because it is hard I'm um, in a position that not many military spouses would be in you know we've been married almost seven years now and we've got four kids so you know what might be hard for some I feel like might be harder for me I don't know yet but I I'm thinking it probably will be because I do have a lot more going on um, but you know I always get through things every time and yeah so that's where we're at right now I uh, <laughs> I have makeup on today yeah <laughs> so yeah there's not there's not much else to update anybody on because there's nothing to really update on I'll give another update probably after he's gone just letting everybody know how the kids are doing and how they're holding up and what that change looks like for us so thank you very much and um yeah stay tuned <laughs>